Well, hello, my YouTube friend. Uh, after all these years of making videos uh, on uh, YouTube, uh, making posts on Instagram, one might think that I would be totally comfortable with that. And actually, one uh, would be right. <laughs> if it was not for uh, me being comfortable and having pleasure doing those videos, I would never, never do it. Uh, I take absolutely uh, no reward uh, when I say no reward, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, it's just the, the only reward and that is the most important is the pleasure that I have of doing that. And if it was stressful and if I was not comfortable, I, <laughs> I would never do it. Yet, uh, my era of expertise lies more with the tactical uh, knives than with the art knife. So I may be a little bit uh, less comfortable or, or thorough maybe while reviewing uh, those art knives than when I do it with tactical knives. Yet, <laughs> another yet, uh, this is a knife. So I always, and you have hear, heard me uh, say in my videos that a knife is something that honestly I don't understand why people uh, uh, don't widely uh, collect knives. Uh, this is an item that has that has it all. Uh, it's pocketable, so some, that's something that you can carry with you. Uh, it's functional, that's actually the first tool of humanity. Uh, that's a knife, I mean, uh, to hunt, that was like... The <laughs> so that's the, the most functional. I mean, if anything has to collapse in the world, you would still need to have a, a, a knife and go back to like the, the... Yeah, to that, to a knife. A knife <laughs> to survive in the jungle. Uh, so yeah, it's functional. Uh, there's art. And this is like the main part is uh, art. I mean, for art, nice, but this one has way more than that. And even if it was not enough, the use of, of a lot of material and uh, to finish, of course, uh, when you speak about the folder, uh, the mechanics. And uh, so that you can have on every knife. I mean, if you take like tactical, of course, you're gonna focus more on the ergos, on the function, uh, than on the rest. And if you go to art knives, you're gonna focus more on the art or, or of all the embellishment, you know, of uh, of the knife, uh, and probably less uh, on the mechanics, or at least on the sturdiness of the mechanics. Uh, this is a knife that I would say that is probably lies uh, uh, in between because you have like all uh, the features of an art knife and yet you have uh, a maker Jean-Pierre Martin that with those folder uh, does literally one of the best mechanics I have ever ever seen and if you look with your own eyes and hopefully this video will do it justice at this part of the knife of the knife sorry you will see that literally here the tolerances are going to be the best that you will check that it's almost one piece you cannot say i'm going to talk about that but you couldn't imagine that here lies like i don't know washers or, or, or bearings it washers actually on this one but um you couldn't tell it's impossible it's just crazy the best tolerance i have ever ever seen in my entire life and uh, the, the mechanics the lock here is very ingenious in order to to preserve uh, the those tight tolerance to say the least this is a very very special uh, lock that he invented uh, you see it's not a lighter uh, if it was a liner, this part here would be here on the tang of the blade. Actually, here with the liner, you have a ball, and the ball inserts... I'm already speaking, you see I'm erratic, I'm already speaking about the mechanics, whereas it's something that I wanted to, I wanted to do later uh, uh, to have some sense and to keep some sense in the video, but whatever. Uh, we're going to talk about that later, check that. The, the, that's incredible. So yeah, of course you have here... Um, like uh, I introduced a knife that will be probably for me in the middle and uh, it's not in the middle. I think it's like a kind of spectrum, you know, like I said, you have in that spectrum, you have a lot of things and it's like uh, more or less tactical, more or less art, more or less uh, um, functional, more or less uh, 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 great mechanics, great uh, ergos on, on, on a knife. And uh, of course, this knife is not gonna, you're not gonna baton this knife, you're not gonna be in the wild like hunting animals with it. So the tactical part, we're gonna set it aside, if you will. Uh, yeah? And <laughs> we're gonna focus more, of course, on the art, 
and on the mechanics, which are on this knife at uh, uh, the highest uh, range of the spectrum of the art and on, of, the, of the mechanics. Now, this is artistically wise, uh, I can't imagine more or better or whatever. It could be different, but not better. Uh, and uh, same here for the mechanics. Just fantastic. As for the tactical or the ergos, let you know, put it aside. I think that you cannot be good or, or excellent at everything. When you look at, sorry, I'll push the video a little bit. Uh, when you look at the, um, at the knife uh, uh, like that for a tactical purpose, uh, I mean, uh, it's slippery. You, ha you have some jimping here, but I, I wouldn't want to use that knife. Uh, uh, maybe just to cut some bread or whatever. But here you have hot spots. It's it's not the, the the feature is not for for being a tactical. Of course you can, huh? but it's not its best feature by far. And of course the lock here or whatever it's not sturdy. So again, tactical part set aside. Now let's talk about the art starting with the handle. Now check this handle. I mean those lines are just for me just perfect. Boom boom square everywhere. Uh, it's just beautiful. You have some, some squareness uh, uh, in the handle and a little bit of roundness uh, in the blade and the overall aspect is very consistent. Actually, it won the best design and has, that has been, you know, uh, uh, the judge was like a lot of people and uh, Tashi Barusha uh, with some others, you know, decided that this knife had to be the knife uh, of the show, the design of the show, uh, of the Paris Blade show that just uh, passed. So yeah, love the design. Now, uh, check the idea that he had here. That's in between, I don't know, let's forget about the category or whatever. Just, just try to understand the, the amount of work that there is here. He places more time in doing the handle than the all knife itself. What you have here are pieces of different materials. So you have marble carbon fiber, you have mother of pearl those white things are mother of pearl and you have the black that is a little bit blacker than the rest is bakelit so three inlays each pieces are cut and fitted together all all one by one the wires that you see here are not spacer because actually it's cut you have the, the frame that is cut and so it's a void here, and the void uh, is filled with all those pieces, all those pieces. So actually what I told you is that the limits that you have here uh, are actually uh, aluminum wires. Now, consider the amount of work that needs to be done in order to get that. It looks almost like it's like a, a cosmetic like a, a thing that is painted or, or because there is absolutely absolutely no gap whether it's between those inlays and the frame whether it's between those inlays that have absolutely nothing in common when it comes to the different material with the wire of aluminum the back alley the mother of pearl the the the, the, the marble carbon uh, uh, there is absolutely no gap it looks like just a painting on a, a, a scale like that and he did that on one side which sh should take a crazy amount of time but also on the other side imagine that and he told me that's literal i mean he, he told me that it takes him uh, more time to do that than uh, the knife itself now everything is fitted and pressed and, and and put it together in a way that there is nothing that will uh, pop through uh, the the pivot it's part of the scale you don't feel it the screws are part of the scale you don't feel it actually you just a tiny bit okay to just to be absolutely thorough and, and and honest a tiny bit but it's look at that it's totally almost totally flush the screws you don't feel them at all the same here now all the contour of the knife check that the, the tab that you have here for the lateral flipper is part of the design boom it's not something that is popping it, it follows exactly the line here and the line here so understand that here you have a lateral flipper that has no protrusion because if you take it like that, it's the contour of the, the, the top of the knife here. And if you take it like that, it's the finish here of the knife. So it's, it's like a inserted 
in the design of the, of, of the knife in a way that there is absolutely no protruding part uh, on that knife. Uh, so that is just phenomenal. We are always already 10 minutes. Uh, again, I've shown you that for the mechanics. So the jimping here makes it for a deployment that is crazy. So now understand something. This is the smoothest knife that I have ever had in my life. Simple, period. It's all simple as that. There is, try to hear something. Nothing. Now, in order to have those tolerances, uh, this crazy guy, because what you see here is complex, but what's inside and you cannot see is just phenomenal. But imagine that to have that, it's touching, huh? you have to understand it's touching. So basically what it does is it, that he takes the frame, he cuts inside the frame, he cuts a washer that will become his washer. So the washer is a part <laughs> of the frame. So he cuts around there. Uh, like a circle like that. So he takes his frame, he, milled, he drills inside and he takes a circle. So that circle that is part of the blade becomes its washer on both sides. And the blade rotates around this, but it's touching, literally touching because it's part of the, uh, it's a part of the frame. So the, there's no protruding part or whatever. This is how he managed to get that. Uh, now, again, if it was that, that again, that just blew, blew my mind when he when he told me how he did that. It's just absolutely phenomenal, uh, uh, phenomenal, just phenomenal. And then again, uh, for the liner, of course, if it had to be fixed with screws or if it had to, to be a liner lock or something, you couldn't have those kind of tolerances. So what it is, is that, let me open the paper. Oh man, the, the, the smoothness on that knife, oh, this is not, unfortunately, this is not mine. I have the honor uh, uh, the, that I got it for a friend and I had the honor to play with it a little bit before sending it to him. Uh, I will have mine, uh, uh, it's in process. The design will be a little bit different, but it's just like I couldn't wait to get one in my collection and play with it like every day. That smoothness here is unparalleled, unparalleled. So yeah, the liner here, is so there is a ball like I said and the the ball uh, is attached of course to this liner and blocks inside the um, the channel that you have on the blade okay uh, so the ball blocks the channel and this is what locks the blade now inside I will never be able to show you that but oh yeah maybe here yeah oh yeah you can tell I, I'm not gonna put my finger I don't want you to miss that you you are not gonna see any screws no screws this is all, all dovetails and inserted by, by strength. You, you're not going to see any screws of this, let's call it liner. It's inserted and fitted inside. And he showed me how it's doing that. That's just absolutely crazy. Silly trick that. Incredible. Incredible. <sighs> that knife is like, like what I say. It's, it's like poetry. It's like art. It's, uh, I have no words, uh, I mean, I used some, but honestly, uh, the emotion that you have when you get that in hand uh, surpass by far whatever you can say or whatever you can hear if you don't have the knife in hand. This is something that, yeah, it's an honor for me to, 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 to have the chance to not only just look at the knife uh, when it's overwhelming at a show and you just like, you know how it is when you're at the show, you have a lot of things to see. So you're going to see one, you're going to appreciate it, but not to its fullest. When I was at the table, I was with uh, Anthony Marfion. Anthony Marfion, you know, is like a, a kind of precise maker. He knows about mechanics, <laughs> something that we can put to his credit for sure. Uh, and when he had it, I mean, that's what he is carrying. Every year he, he's taking a knife from Jean-Pierre Martin. This is uh, for him, his, his favorite maker. He's got a knife with him, actually uh, not that artsy, something that is more usable. Uh, and he liked the formula that I got when I saw him and I said, you know what, this is a knife maker's knife. <laughs> and that's exactly what it is. Knife makers, they would understand and appreciate that. And, and whenever they have one of Jean-Pierre knife in hand, uh, they become crazy. So I am heading now to the 15 minutes. It was a tremendous pleasure to do this review uh, and a pleasure to play with that knife that is just phenomenal. And if you ever have the chance, it's really hard uh, to get a knife from him because uh, uh, he's in France, he's not taking really like uh, uh, order if you don't like, I don't know if you, it's, it's hard, uh, okay, to get a knife from him, mostly at the show or sometime in a secondary market if you can find them. Uh, but man, 
it's phenomenal. If you have the chance and like art knives, go for Jean-Pierre Martin. You will never be disappointed. And with that being said, my friend, I'll leave it at that and I will come back very soon for tactical videos. Bye-bye.